Only on five never before seen police video of the man who tried to save his neighbors from the so-called face fighting killer. He turned and looked at me and said, you want no part of this? The face of Jeff Fisher, but you'll hear him describe suspected killer Austin Harris behavior. Megan McRoberts with the story you'll see only on five. Understandably, Jeff Fisher appears emotional as he relived what happened here the night of August 15th, 2016. Fisher said he was in bed and heard strange noises, then a scream. He ran outside. I saw um, him slamming Michelle's car door and then a little fuzzy. Um, I saw Michelle come out of the man door into the garage and him grab a hold of Michelle and throw her to the ground. Fisher said when he arrived, Harif spoke to him. He turned and looked at me and said, you want no part of this, you want no part of me, one of the two. And then from his right hand, swung. Harif connected with a swing, slicing his face and body. What happened next? We then got into the little pitter-patter fight thing. I was able to get a hold of his shirt, and when I yanked him, I yanked him like that, he lost his balance, and he went down to the ground right there face first. Fisher realized he was bleeding and ran for safety through John Stevens and Michelle Mishkan's house, ending up on the side of the home. I got to this general area right here, and I was out of breath and starting to feel some of the pain. So he hid near a bush, and though he couldn't see Harif before running home, he could hear him. The words were not making okay. sense. He was just, ah, rah, ah, rah, something to that effect. And Fisher says he beelined back to his home. That is ultimately where he learned the fate of his neighbors. I've also obtained an interview with a first responding deputy who describes why they decided not to shoot Austin Harif and what it took to arrest him. Hear that interview tomorrow at 5 here on WPTV. I'm Megan McRoberts, WPTV News Channel 5.